and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined. Uh, I'm so glad that you're enjoying the channel and thank you so much for the feedback that you've given me. So today I am in the garage and we are fitting a new headlamp to Doug. Um, I know you all like an instructional video, so I thought I'd show you um, fitting an aftermarket headlamp. Uh, let me just show you what came in the kit. So the kit came with the new headlamp. I chose this because look, it's got stars on it. Uh, and if you know me, you know I like my stars. Uh, it's an LED upgrade. Um, I bought this from India via eBay. It wasn't very expensive. It also comes with new headlamp clips and some sort of brackets and an extra bit of wiring harness. <laughs> a corporate seal of uh, quality, which uh, I don't quite know how legit that is, but uh, we'll find out. <laughs> so apparently this is a direct replacement. It shouldn't need any, uh, well, it shouldn't need much faffing about with. So let's see how we get on. So while you're here, there's been a few garage updates. Uh, I was suffering uh, from a very leaky old roof. It was concrete asbestos uh, and all of my stuff was just getting trashed. It had really had its day. So I have invested in a new garage roof and what a game changer it is. It's allowed me to have a massive sort out. I think I got rid of like 20 bing bags of rubbish. So I've got a nice organized garage. And I also treated myself to something new to go with it. I bought a Halfords roller cab. Oh, I have to say, it's such good quality for what I paid. You know, I, I scoured Amazon and um, see what was on there. But actually, Halfords with their discounts came out top. But it's just nice to be able to open a drawer and there's all my tools nicely organized it took hours because i had to dry it all out because it was wet from the leaky roof uh, but now it's all organized there's the odd missing socket but we don't talk about those <laughs> who knows um but yeah nice to be organized so first things first uh there's two uh phillips screwdrivers one on this side and one under here so i'm just going to undo those first So with the two screws removed, it should just be a case of easing this out of the hole. There we go. To reveal the wiring at the back, which is really short. So that's just unplugged itself. <laughs> um, so there we go. It's unplugged itself. Oh, why didn't they allow a little bit more there? That's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> that's my whinging. <laughs> it's unplugged. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, a second one for the side light. So we'll just unplug that too. And there we go. There is the headlamp removed. So quick comparison of the back of the headlamp. We've got the plug that obviously plugs straight into the loom, which is nice. It's got a bit of wire on the back. And I mean, I've got these two spade connectors here. However, I've just unplugged that from the bike, so I'm just going to have a look at the little wiring harness they've put in the kit to see if that helps with the more direct plug and play. I don't really want to get into changing connectors if we can help it. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be any help or not. I would say not. So this light comes with no instructions. That's quite frustrating. I'm going to have a little think and see what I can come up with. <laughs> this should have been plug and play. It told me it was plug and play on the, on the description. Clearly not. Right, this is getting a little bit annoying now. So I didn't want to butcher the connectors on the wiring harness. So I thought oh, I'll just cut some wires and just... Uh, quickly put them, jab them in the back of the connectors and just see what's working and what isn't. So I've got the side light working, but there's still nothing from the 
headlamp. Um, so let me just show you that. It's very yellow as well. I don't, I'm not so sure about this. Anyway, so I'm guessing that the pinouts from the new headlamp are different to the one that go into the main wiring harness. So I'm just going to have a bit more of a faff about. <laughs> oh, what should be a really easy job. <laughs> Anyway, I don't. I do these things so you don't have to. <laughs> so there's my little lash together with the wires, um, just to see what's working and what isn't. I can't find a wiring um, harness uh, schematic drawing for the 2023 model Himalayan without having to spend a fortune and buying one. So this is a little bit of guesswork, but you know, you you need a power and you need a ground. So. Um, I'm going to keep on faffing and I will keep you updated. <laughs> right, update number one. I just reversed the polarity of those two cables jabbed into the back of the connector and all of a sudden I've got a white light. Hooray! So, still no headlamp, so that needs more investigation. Let's see what's what. <laughs> so I've decided to completely back the pins out of this uh, connector. Uh, it just... Gives me more of a chance to do a bit of chopping and changing where required. So if you do come across one of these pin connectors and need to back the pins out, there's some tiny little tabs. I just see that there. If you squash those down, you can see there's like a slot in front of the where the pin comes through. Uh, nice little flat blade screwdriver. Squidge down that tab and the pin will come out. So simple as that. It just gives me the chance to get these in the right holes. So I've just learned a hard lesson. <laughs> I forgot for this headlamp to switch on on the bike, the bike has to be running. So I've just been swapping wires around and messing about and um, nothing. I was thinking, oh, this headlamp, it just doesn't work. How annoying. Oh, I'm going to send an angry email and all that sort of thing. However, and then it dawned on me. I wonder if the bike's got to be running to make the headlamp work. And sure enough, the bike has to be running. So, <laughs> uh, before you lose all hope and send an angry email, get the bike running and um, uh, it fires into life. <laughs> so I just wanted to check that it all works because I am going to have to butcher the old connector uh, off of the side light bulb to use on the new headlamp and um, you know before I did all that I just wanted to make sure it worked because I don't want to chop up the old headlamp before knowing this one's a good one so uh, now that is all sort of lodged together um, I'm going to do a bit of jiggery pokery and make these connectors work. So if you are faced with this job I don't know if you can see in here. I'm guessing that the main live feed is this green and yellow out of the wiring harness. The switching power to the main beam is a solid yellow and obviously the ground is black. Well, that's pretty standard. And then on the headlamp end, it's red to the main power, blue to the switching and black for the, the ground. Um, so uh, yeah and then on the side light side of it the white from the headlamp goes into the power feed which is a gray and yellow and then the ground in is a solid yellow from the headlamp into the black on the bike's harness i hope you can sort of pick that up and i hope that helps a few of you uh, if it comes to wiring in one of these for yourself so just so i can remember what the pinouts are I've just done this little sketch of uh, of the wire colours and where they go to and from the new headlamp. So I don't want to confuse you lot, but on um, unplugging this, um, I've just realised that actually it's not a solid yellow that comes out of the bike. It's actually a yellow and blue, which I'm guessing is the main power feed. Let's get some light in there so you can see. Um, so, yeah, so um, <laughs> my wearing diagram is wrong. So to the... Blue goes the yellow and blue, I think. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is rubbish. <laughs> so just to recap, let's try and get some light in there so you can see. The red 
that feeds to the yellow and blue. The blue from the headlamp goes to the yellow and green, and then the black simply goes to the black, and that's your circuit. Um, so, so I remember, because I'm a bit of a scatterbrain, I've done a really nice, simple little diagram. Uh, I initially got the colours mixed up, um, and then I couldn't remember, so I've just redone it again, and now uh, this is what I've got, so I can just rejog my memory when it comes to reassembly. So, first things first, I'm just going to put the plug back onto the new headlamp. So, it's just basically the reverse of what you did to back the pins out. Uh, just lift up that very small little tab, figure out which way it goes. You can see it goes to the centre and just pop it into the back of the connector and you'll hear it click in place. There we go. So that's that repopulated, uh, ready to go straight back on the bike. The next job is to um, basically make this work with that connector. So for this particular job, I've decided to go for butt connectors. <laughs> I can't say butt connectors without giggling. <laughs> yeah. uh, these are a nice glue lined heat shrink, so they give a really nice connection. And I think it'll be the tidiest way of doing it. Uh, these, uh, I got them off Amazon. Uh, I've used them on a lot of things. They've been really good connectors. Give that little bit of um, cable support as well. You know, you've got that little bit of glue lined heat shrink and that when that shrinks down, that's supporting the cable going into the joint. So no more broken, you know, joints uh, where you've crimped them. It's, they're really good. Totally recommend these. So first things first, I am going to cut these spades off here. nice and close into the old pin so it gives you plenty of cable length and there we go and then secondly I hate to butcher things but oh, there it goes I leave some cable on the back of here so if ever god forbid this headlamp packs up I can always reuse my old lamp so there we go so just enough uh, cable length there to put the butt connectors on and join into there. So there we go, the bike's connector off the headlamp uh, with the two new butt connectors on there. And I'm just going to attach these now to the new headlamp. So luckily I wrote it down. So it's the yellow and grey wire to the white and the black wire on the plug to the yellow on the headlamp. Uh, give it a little pull just to make sure you've got a nice connection there. When you're putting your connectors on, never be tempted to over twist these wires because that can just, it makes them come out of the connector so much easier. Whereas if you're crimping onto a slightly twisted wire, it's more likely to splay out and, and give a, a better connection. It's more likely to grip. So uh, time and time again, I see people just over twisting the wires just to get them in the connectors and then you know, you can crimp them up and the crimp will just drop off. And that's so that's generally the reason. So uh, don't be over twisting your wires. <laughs> so we've got two nice strong connections there. All that's left to do is get my heat gun out and just shrink these down. So there you go. Two nice connections with some glue lined heat shrink. And I'll just let those cool down and then we'll build this into the old headlamp ring. So the next job on the list is to remove the headlamp clips because we're going to be using the old headlamps around for the new light. Now I've seen all sorts of horror stories on the internet about people losing eyes and limbs and taking these out. Hopefully I won't today. Let's see how it goes. So it seems the best way of doing it is just to get a flat bladed screwdriver <laughs> and ping them out. Woo! <laughs> and the last one. Okay, I see how people lose eyes now. <laughs> I probably should hold on to it before. <laughs> anyway. Oh dear. Right, so that is the old headlamp bowl released. 
there's a retaining tab there for the headlamp bowl to go onto the uh, headlamp housing so I think you just got to kind of ease that back out of the way and there we go there's the headlamp ring freed right so top of the headlamp is there and then from what I've read the uh, dot SAE mark goes to the top So I've comboed up and I'm going to use some of the original retaining clips um, but this lamp is a lot shallower than the old one so they supply some slightly longer clips. So I'm just going to combo the two up because I don't want my headlamp falling out um, but I think it's just reverse process with this. Stretch the new ones out a little bit. Clip it into one side of the lamp kind of try and hold it in with your thumb if you can and stretch the other side down and I'll just retain it in place so there we go all the clips fitted uh, probably a bit of overkill I've put in a few extras super paranoid about headlamps dropping out <laughs> uh, new plugs on already pinned out ready to plug this is officially now hopefully a plug and play headlamp let's see <laughs> Right, so this is going to be fitted. I'm going to plug it in. Uh, the little tab goes to the top, which I guess hooks into the housing here. So just look out for that when you're refitting. But there we go, there's that plugged in. And then that plugs directly in. There we go. There's the wiring, there's plenty of room behind for all this to tuck away nice and tidy. Keep it in at the top and push it in at the bottom. And there we go, so just two screws to go back in. All that's left is just get my grubby fingerprints off it. Nice soft cloth. Uh, something else to look out for with these, the lenses are plastic so they're going to mark really easy. Um, hence why I put down a soft cloth when I was putting the um, pins back in. Um, I really need to clean Doug, he's so grubby. <laughs> anyway, are you ready for the big switch on? Fingers crossed we got all that wire in the right way round. Let's see. So we've got a halo side light, woo, in white. Look at that. And there we go. The stars beautifully illuminated. And onto the high beam. There we go. Hopefully the aim will be about the same because I haven't um, changed the angle of the headlamp bowl so hopefully that will be just set fine there we go yay new headlamp I hope you've enjoyed this video I really hope it helps a few of you out that are thinking of doing this uh, until the next time don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and if there's any more questions you want to ask feel free to ask in the comments until then, I will see you in the next one. Ride safe.